I'm going to break down everything you need to know to create videos in Picolex. This is the website for it. It's just pica.art. Click on join beta. It's only available in Discord. When you get to welcome to Pika, this is the home page of Pika Labs on Discord. You and everybody else that's there right now will be here on the right side. The left side is your dashboard. At the bottom of the page are a bunch of links that you can click on. Click on frequently used channels. A new member, click here to get started. A video is created in what they call channels and there are 10 of them. You cannot make videos anywhere else on the Pika server other than in one of these generate channels. The next thing you want to look at is welcome. This is where it's going to show you how to get started, any news or information about Pika Labs, announcements, the rules, frequently asked questions, and then some tutorials. The chat where you can talk about whatever it is that you're interested in that has to do with these videos. You can discuss the Pika bot, you can meet other Pika fans, you can get help with videos, you can understand how to use features, you can get feedback and suggestions, and all of these are clickable links. Community, you can showcase what you've created, your videos. You can showcase them in Pika Labs, you can win prizes for them, you can create your own themed jam to share and collaborate with friends, and then there is a daily theme that Pika Labs posts every single day. And if you want to learn as much as you possibly can about creating video in Pika, then I highly recommend that you jump on the daily themes and start creating videos. Look at what other people are prompting and start to understand and learn how to use these prompts to create what you want in Pika Labs. Now, how do you prompt a video? backslash create, what will pop up is prompt. So what the AI is saying to you is give me a prompt or whatever you tell me to do is what I'm going to try to create for you based on the data that I have in my databases. This main part is the description. Second pieces are optional, what are called parameters. And it's how you set up the type of video that you want. AR stands for aspect ratio. Motion stands for how much you want this video to move or how little you want it to move. If you want to learn more about prompts, Pika wants you to know. <laughs> they want you to use it. They are going to make it simple and easy. You go to optional parameters. Camera movement parameter prompts. You can tell it to zoom in or out. You can tell it to pan up or down, or left or right. You can tell it to rotate clockwise or counterclockwise. These are examples of what that means with the prompt. The next thing is your optional video parameters, and that's frames per second. How much motion do you want it to get? What kind of scale do you want? You want to guide the scale up or down. Interestingly, you can give it what are called negative prompts. A negative prompt would be a space, then a hyphen, then the word N-E-G for negative. And then what don't you want it to include? You don't want certain words to be used or pictures or images. These are negative prompts. It's just as important what you want as what you don't want. Seed is a number at the end of the file for your video. So when you download your video, it will have a description of that video as the name of the file. At the very end of that description will be the seed number. And this is how you start to be able to generate consistency by adding that seed number into the next prompt. If you have questions, be sure you put them in the comments below because we want to know what you think about that, what you want to learn about AI, are you using video, is AI something that resonates with you next time. Thank you so much for joining us. We love that you were here and we'll see you in the next video.